Hey guys, uh, just a quickie. Um, I'm on a time limit here, but I do want to talk about this boxy pixel uh, Game Boy Macro that I made a while back. Uh, I've done several things to this thing since that video, uh, but one of the things I want to show off right now. Um, my biggest issue when I got it was that the cutout here is sized for the aftermarket replacement class, which is slightly too big uh, compared to the original uh, bezel cutout. So if you use the original bezel on the touchscreen, you're going to have a gap either on the top or the bottom there. I wasn't really feeling that, and I wanted to leave the touchscreen intact uh, instead of using the glass so that I could... Uh, use emulators and stuff, you know, like slot one games. Now I can't get the stupid thing off. There we go. <clears throat> I was tempted to just kind of leave it as is, uh, but I was playing around with 3D printing some bezels. I got this 3D printed and I'll, I'll upload the files for this. This fits fine. Uh, if we turn this thing on and turn off that light. You can see it covers the screen pretty nicely, um, no overlap. In my particular case, there's a little bit of backlight bleed at the top, so this covers that nicely. Uh, I also made a, um, let me get a Game Boy Advance game in here. I also made this bezel which is sized for Game Boy Advance. It should cover it nicely. And again, I'll post the files for this thing, but that's not really the point of this video. Um, I had an idea to make new bezels. So I got these made. Um, unfortunately, I had a bit of a case of the dumbs when I ordered these, and these are sized the same as the original bezels. So they'll fit on an original DS Lite, but they don't actually solve the problem that I set out to solve. So they're garbage. I have a bunch of those. But I just reordered them. And the new ones, they fit perfectly. And I think they look pretty snazzy myself. If you're not a fan of the uh, text on there, you can just flip the thing over. It's black on the other side. But, I mean, I, I made these for me. I put the text on there. Why the hell not? Um, these are made of 0 0.6 millimeter circuit board material. So I just ordered them from a PCB fab. In this particular case, I ordered them from JLC PCB because it was only $2 plus shipping. I was on a little bit of a uh, PCB ordering kick for things that are normally not PCBs. Uh, but as far as attaching this, I'm thinking we can just use some regular double-sided adhesive. I'm using this cheapo red stuff that I got off of AliExpress that I do not recommend using it for what they sell it to use for. Um, but this is for supposedly reattaching digitizers to cell phones. It sort of, kind of, almost works for that, but it's not sticky enough. In this particular case, though, I don't think that's going to be an issue, because this is literally just a bezel. It's nice and thin, sticky enough, easy enough to work with. Another mod... Oh, I'm out of time. Hang on. I gotta go take care of that in a minute here. But I'll be naughty. I'll put that off. Um, oh shoot, I just messed that up. Another mod I did regarding the... Uh, I, I, I kept going back and forth on the original video about um, the light pipe for this thing. Since it doesn't ship with a light pipe, but it has a hole there, what I ended up doing, I just put a piece of tape over this thing, 
And then from the inside, I took it apart and then put a big blob of hot glue in there and it works perfectly. So yeah, you can see that from any angle there. Works a lot better. I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, an actual LED light pipe would probably be better, maybe. But I don't know. Not really worth the effort when you can just use hot glue. Peel this off already so I can cut off this extra adhesive. I don't mind if they're adjacent, I just don't want them to overlap. Otherwise, it'll stick up in a corner. That won't be good. It's not like this is sealing dust or anything out of the screen, so it doesn't have to be perfectly... Doesn't have to make a perfect seal. So yeah, I'll go ahead and post up the 3D printed files, or rather the files to 3D print. Uh, if you wanna, if you have a 3D printer, you wanna make them that way, or I'll post the uh, PCB files. They're called Gerbers. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I assume so. It's spelled the same way as the other word, and um, you can order these from. Pretty much any cheap PCB fab. Uh, a lot of them, like PCB Way and JLC PCB, do deals where you know your first order is dirt cheap. In this case, two dollars, um, and then you're just paying shipping. So for less than ten bucks, you can get five of these things. And I am super happy with how that came out. I just cannot get the lighting right, but yeah, I'll also post the PCB files for this style. Uh, just note that they're untested. Hopefully I don't have a dumb when I'm making them and end up with something like this again that doesn't quite fit right. These ones are just a hair too short. Uh, but I think it should be good because I already know this fits. I already have the measurements for it. So I'll post the STLs for this and this and the PCB files for this and one like this. And uh, I don't know, if you guys get them, let me know how it goes. Another cool thing, you can get these in pretty much any color too. Uh, I chose black because that seemed like it was gonna match mine the best, but you can obviously get them in whatever color you want. Blue, white, red, yellow, etc. But I don't know, I just thought I'd share and uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.